Hello everybody, I'm Sarah Perry, Psychic Medium, and this is the weekly Psychic Astrology for June the 1st to the 7th, 2020. Hello to everybody who is tuning in right now. I did start this live and it completely just stopped. The wireless is very, very slow today, so I'm now pre-recording it. So I, I really apologise to anybody who was looking forward to a live stream. Thank you for all of you who do tune in to me regularly. I just wanted to really make a point of that. And if you do enjoy this vlog, please like share and subscribe and if you would like a private reading then just go to my website now excuse me i've got itchy nose <laughs> every time i get on here i start itching my nose or sneezing this is winnie and she's obviously not that interested in you guys hi she's just saying hello she's like don't do that to me mama um so she's joining in with me today which is great um so just to let you know, um, there was special uh, offers on on the website for Super Saturdays. I have decided to continue that for Saturdays. You just buy the reading on a Saturday and you get a discount. If you do buy it before or after that date, then I will use it for the next Saturday, OK, because otherwise it would be the full price which makes it fairer. There are options for mini readings and questions. And now I do have a subscription option as well, as there are some people who do want some regular advice or mentoring. And this is a really, really inexpensive option that I'm offering at $30 a month. And you get three mini readings within that month. Oh, it's not a rollover. So don't think you can collect them for the next month, but you can use, have three mini readings written, that is, during that month. Um, so it, it just gives a lot more option for people if they just like some regular insight or you've got something particular you just want to work through if you don't want to have a face to face with me or, um, you know, Skype or, or whatever, a different type of reading. Um, there is also an option for a seven day package where you can have a daily reading as well. Um, just again, if there's something specific in your life that you really want some guidance with at the moment with this lockdown and ease and everything changing, people are all over the place we've got retrogrades going on all over the place as these is happening and instead of people going oh i'm free you know everything's wonderful let's get back to life it's sort of like no let's just have a big fight and, and battle it out which doesn't make a lot of sense but you know i did explain this in the last video that this is a lot to do with the fact that people are unused to other people around them their energy so they're reacting and becoming defensive and it's like, I don't know what to do. You know, we have all changed. A lot of people have said, what am I going to do when I go back to work? What am I going to do when I meet these people again? I'm different. We are different. And it's about accepting that we have moved forward. Life is going to be different from now on. You know, things are changed. But we need to still work together. And I understand there's conspiracy theory here and all of this going on. And it's so-and-so's fault and that person did you know stop wasting time on whoever is to blame or what is going on at the moment there is a pandemic okay understand that it's happening i don't care anymore where it's coming from as long as i'm safe and my loved ones are safe so think about that if you are reckless you could be wrecking someone's life and i'm saying this because it's all very well saying, oh, I'm OK, I'm invincible. And I understand faith and trust. And if you believe you're going to live forever, fine. But there is also being sensible, OK? And I'm a psychic and I'm a spiritual worker, but I still am aware of the greatness of what is going on. This isn't just about somebody letting go of some virus and someone else catching it and all this. This is a universal lesson for all of us to start bucking our ideas up. And this second wave is not something that had to come, all right? This is what I'm getting from this. The messages I'm having is saying that if we do not learn, we will get the second wave and it will be much bigger than the first. And all day I've had October the 10th come in. Please write that date down. Something could happen. And this week we've got the eclipse, right? Right? The big, big Mars eclipse. Well, not the Sagittarius eclipse, sorry. And Mars is conjunct with Virgo retrograde, which is just causing more chaos, more anger, more anxiety, more agitation. And it's all literally focusing on relationships and how we deal with people. It doesn't have to be the people you live with, your partnerships, you know, your marriage, your whatever. It can be every relationship and how you deal with it. So if you have any cracks, 
it is so, so possible that they're gonna get wider at the weekend. So start really focusing on your life and how you can make it better and it's more fulfilled. Don't sit back blaming everybody else for, you know, and you can write comments going, oh, you know, you're having a go. It's, I'm, I'm not, I'm just saying, I listen to this day in, day out. I've stopped now watching the news because it's a lot simpler. And I um, just don't understand why there is nothing better to do than write something negative on a social media post when actually we could just be having a nice time. I mean, I've done so much in this time off. I have achieved so much and I'm so grateful actually for the time. Um, so I'm just saying thank you to the universe right now. And, you know, and it, instead of looking at everyone else and what they've got, or what they haven't got, or what they've done, look at your own lives, guys, because this is what the, the eclipses are about. They, they, push us to examine our lives in full there's you know it's all part of a different cycle change transformation and this is such a powerful year so take advantage of it stop now stop all this stuff and just live okay and look after yourselves because it's really really important so let's look at this week so we've got this solar eclipse not sorry lunar eclipse excuse me in Sagittarius and um it is, you know, it is going to cause some fireworks and Mars being conjunct with Virgo could cause earthquakes. Um, you know, it, it's like it's all linked to wars, everything, you know, things kicking off everywhere. So, you know, it's highly likely, you know, at a full moon, people get a bit agitated anyway, that, you know, it could cause some disruption. So be ready, you know practice before at being calm being centered and um, i'm going to do a detox from monday onwards and really clear my system out and use this time to be in the best place for the weekend so that um you know i am much more calm and not getting so wound up you know watch the sugar intake guys all right because that's the thing that can send you over the edge and and anything you really want you know like you know sometimes you go, i've got to have bread i've got to have this just realize that become aware of it and realize that it's something that you're trying to make sure you know with the venus going retrograde you're going to naturally want to make yourself feel better you're going to want more love you're going to want more nurturing so you'll look at things that are feel good which aren't always good are they you know it's like oh, i'll have a bottle of wine that'll make me feel better but the next day you don't you know that's the whole point so what have we got here for this week we've got things falling into place okay these are my oracle cards these are a reflection of the cubes okay these are the sides of my cubes you can actually buy these if you are interested um haven't uploaded them yet but <laughs> i'll let you know um but seriously if you are interested in, in getting a pack of these you can you can um, so we've got the puzzle piece. This is about the pieces of the puzzle falling into place. And this is really typical of eclipse season, you know, where things start connecting together. And I feel like some things have been missing. Some information has been missing. Some of the stuff that we need to know from higher up has not been given to us yet because we are not in the right place and we are not open to receive. So it is time to work on our heart chakras. Um, I'm being told that, you know, if you are... Um, a light worker start connecting with angel gabriel um, raphael and ariel bring in these angels with you um, ask them to be around to to bring you the answers there's um, a lot of scope this week i feel like there's like portals opening of channels really really big energy channels where we can um, really connect with our higher selves and our higher spirits. So again, I'm going to say, you know, really take the time to detox and cleanse, you know, have some salt water baths, get in the sea if you're able to, because we are now, yeah. Um, eat clean, you know, white food, uh, not sugar, <laughs> but, you know, clean food. So things are going to start falling into place. I feel like messages are coming in. Some of you may find that you've got really, really vibrant dreams. Some things might, you wake, wake up and think, God, that's really irritated me. You know, sometimes you have those dreams that you just, you're unable to shake um so you know write it down How, get a dream journal this week i think there's going to be information coming all week long literally once a day if you start writing it down you know if you start seeing angel numbers and things you're going to start finding a whole puzzle together by the end of the week so it could be a fun game okay we have got contracts decisions um people starting to um connect again um, I feel like the control is coming back. Um, people are starting to, there, there will be collaborations this week. I think although we've got the, you know, the, the sort of craziness of Mars, um, I feel like that contracts will be sort of like being 
banged out this week, you know, in companies and things like that. Decisions, how they're going to streamline, who they're going to bring back on, who they're not. Because the easing is starting to happen. It's like, and shops and things are going to start opening. So how are they going to open? That's the question. And I feel like there's, there's going to be a lot of talks about that. And coming back to that lunar eclipse and the full moon, I feel like some of it is going, you know, there's going to be some negative Nancys in the room that are going to say, oh, I don't believe this, you know, just being awkward. Um, so it could be a bit of a long ride, but I do feel that decisions will be made and you know things will fall into place as in we will start realizing who the troublemakers are as well okay for some of you at work there could be some wonderful surprises this week so i talk about relationships um lunar eclipses do um highlight relationships a lot our emotions our emotional self and you could meet your soulmate something could happen wonderful this week something could fall from the sky you never know I always believe in miracles um however negative i've made this sound <laughs> and i really apologize for that you know i feel like there are some pleasant surprises in the darkness and you know as you're sort of like pulling yourself through the forest and the wood and the trees that something great could emerge so keep going you know if you're working on a project or you're you know and it feels like it's endless i know when i'm working on my website i'm still doing it guys you know and it is starting to evolve now i'm starting to see this like end result and even those like little things to tag up and seo settings and all that it's starting to become a full picture now and that's, that's what i feel is something good could emerge this week from all the work that's put in and rewards could be given important phone calls important communication i feel like business calls are going to start coming through the phone's going to start ringing off the hook for a few of you especially around Thursday and Friday time you know you may think oh it's gone really quiet and then suddenly boof you know and again I feel like that's that Mars energy coming in it's pushing through somebody might be ringing to say um you know they just want to have a word they want to sort it out so keep your head down guys if, if that's the case I just you know go on holiday or something just for a week well maybe not that far because we can't at the moment but um think about communication we're coming into mercury retrograde on the 18th of june and we're already in the pre-shadow phase so you're going to start finding that things may be a bit weird but with th like three retrogrades already happening you know it's tense it's challenging it's pushing us it feels like you know sometimes we're being suffocated or squeezed in at the middle and we can't breathe so you know just Keep yourself, I could say, is just keep yourself in balance. Work on yourself, you know, just focus on yourself. Remember everything, everybody we meet are reflections of what we need to learn, know, or of ourselves, you know. So once you get that, then, and you think, oh yeah, that person's angry. Am I angry inside? Or am I supposed to be assertive? Am I supposed to deal with this in a calm way? How do I normally react, okay? So there's a lot, lot to learn this week. I feel it's going to be an important, important week. And then you've still got the energy going two weeks later, and then we've got a solar eclipse, so Wah! double whammy guys um you know change 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 so expect the unexpected I feel like some plans are going to be delayed that to do with this lockdown you're going to feel like sometimes you're going four steps forwards and you're like yeah yeah we're ready to open and then it's going to go two steps back that could be because there's a reoccurrence of the virus that there is a second wave um for me my personal feeling is the second wave is everyone going on about who's everyone's that's the second wave is everyone complaining all the time um but i do am getting october the 10th i think i've just said that but in, i do feel that it that's going to be an important day so just make sure that if you've done any travel plans you've got anything going um you know make sure that you have got good insurance at the moment because nothing is set in stone and because we're coming into mercury retrograde things could be a little bit disruptive so if you are going to book anything do it before the 18th now Passion, 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 fire, fire, fire. This is Mars fire coming through. People feeling passionate about their, what they believe in. You know, again, it could be angry passion, but <laughs> this kind of eclipse is also going to bring a little bit of reckless passion as well. So there could be a few one night stands going on. Um, I wouldn't read too much too deeply into relationships right now new ones um, just go with the flow it could be the love of your life but also venus being retrograde mm, it may not be what you think okay um just be again watch being reckless because you may just feel like just you know going out on the town and you know you have an argument and off you go and the first person you meet that's it wham bang bollock uh, bol wham bang wallop that's what i want to say um <laughs> so just watch it so your passions are going to be really really high you could feel really strongly about something and that could start an argument okay so just just be aware of everybody else in the room work as a collective you need to get through this eclipse you can get through anything i think 
Now, I do have crossroads and change here. And this is showing that you will come to a point of no return. And for some people in relationships, that's what's going to happen this week. It may be that you just say something that that is it. You know, you have a realisation about something and you just think, yeah, I'm not going there anymore. Um, and I do get I've got this negative sign, which is showing that it could be the negatives that are highlighted, which I have already explained. So it's up to you guys. You can talk things through you can work things through or you can just let them fester or just blow up and it will go wrong um the stronger relationships you know if you are this is a good test for how strong you are you know because if you can get through this you can like i said probably get through anything and the two music cards i got this week are <laughs> please release me <laughs> which is how people are going to feel get me out of here i'm a celebrity get me out of here kind of thing um you know so again it's like this feeling of rattling bars and that's what i you know like when you see that on telly with the prison, they come, new people come in and they're all going, oh, buzz. that's what it feels like at the moment. Everybody just making noise and going, I'm here, I'm here, I'm independent. And they're getting angrier and angrier. And and I just feel it, it could get worse. Um, Green Door, the other card is showing that you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So stop assuming, stop presuming, stop um, making judgments about things that you haven't got facts about, even if it is on the news, you know, because there's so many opinions right now. You're going to get yourself confused. You're going to get yourself wound up. You're pulling yourself into the negative energy. Stay away from it. Keep that green door closed, guys. Although... In some cases, the green door is saying go, okay? But I think for this week, it's what's going on behind it, um, <laughs> or what we're assuming. So let's have a look at the astroscopes for the week. We're starting with Aries, and we've got new beginnings for you. Could be some births this week. Lovely, on a, an eclipse, baby, wow. But I've also got the, the little heartache sign which isn't great but I feel like endings will bring beginnings you may find a new beginning through heartache you know maybe you've gone to um, a group a grieving group and you meet somebody there special um, you know which could be a, a wonderful surprise in an eclipse uh, maybe the pain has got too much and you realize that you've got to now start again whatever is happening I feel this is the strong one you know it's like full moons right now we're all releasing pain you know we're releasing stuff inside us we're, we're purging and we need to move on pain is good to help us learn and what we don't want okay so take it as learning all right it's like crying when you cry you release and i feel like new beginnings are on the horizon for you and what we've got is heart flutter which is showing you know this sense of passion this feeling of energy coming in and mars is an airy sign guys you know it's it rules aries so you know take the positives of it don't let the anger or the frustration or the impatience get the better of you or the pain don't get all sort of wrapped up in it just think okay this is a chance to have a new beginning. I'm going to cleanse myself. I'm going to detox and I'm going to get going. I'm going to get excited about it. You know, I'm going to get my heart going flutter. Could, somebody could come in this week. Someone really special could just appear in your life and it could be the thing. But again, slowly, slowly wins the race. Catch the monkey. Um, just be, you know, be vigilant because of the Venus situation. And when things are in retrograde, we haven't got all the information. Enjoy yourself but keep your boundaries okay Taurus right I love this because I see Taurus is stubborn bull and I feel like this could be you being right I'm not doing this today you know you might feel yourself just wanting to stick with the plan you are not moving outside the boundaries you are going to stay exactly where you are now Taurians are at the number four which I think is quite hilarious um and it's that sense of everything neat in the box everything in order everything balanced but I feel for you this week, it's like you're wanting to keep it safe, okay? And you're not going to change, whatever. And I see this as a stubborn streak, which isn't hugely positive. So keep things in balance, but be open to some kind of adaptability because there could be some surprises this week because full moons always bring surprises and often a little bit of disruption. And be open to communicate, all right? This is about learning to see both sides. If you really want the balance, it can't be all about you guys. And you might be just really annoyed about something. And this is great because he's saying if you find that balance and you work together and you don't you know you don't get in a strop I mean it could be somebody around you that's like this but I feel like it's gonna be you <laughs> I don't 
anyway, I don't know, you're just going to stick to your guns. It's like, no, we're going to shut down the shutters. We're not going out. We're going to be eating at nine every night and we're going to be getting up. This. It's better if we've got the rules. You know, I feel like you feel safer within a structure and that's great. But I feel that there's someone else that maybe doesn't want to have that structure. And they're saying it's like, you know, give and take this week because this is a lovely card. This is showing you've got the magic to work with anything. All right. You don't have to protect yourself so much. If someone new is coming to your life, you don't have to just think, oh, well, because it's happened before I've been hurt. You know, it's never going to go right again. You know, you can step outside those boundaries and just have a bit of fun, wiggle, have a bit of wiggle room. I feel like you've just got to be flexible this week and you may feel be feeling a little bit. I don't know. I mean, maybe you're feeling a bit freaked out. You know, all the changes that are happening. It's normal. It doesn't matter if you're a Taurus. It could be anybody right now. I know I did. So the saying is just, you know, use your skills. Realize you've got the magic to of choice that you can create abundance in your life. You don't have to be holding on tightly to everything. Um, you know, that isn't going to allow things to flow, especially if you're worried about money or something, or you're just saying, no, I'm going to stay in a job because it's, you know, it's a job. And in these times, I can't get another one. And I'm not asking you to walk out on your job either. Um, all I'm saying is that maybe be flexible and look at what else you've got to offer because there are options. I know there's a lot of things that are closing down right now and I know that the employment is going to be going, uh, is going to be ridiculous unemployment, but there's always possibilities in my world, you know, and I work for myself and I think there's always possibilities to create work, right? So be creative, you know? God, I'm really warm. I might just have to... Is that my window? I'm just going to open up my It's very warm. Oh, is up. Hello. Hello. Is it good? You awake now? Good girl. She's awake. Okay, so Gemini. Hello, say hi. Hello. Are you waking? Oh. She's lovely when she's just woken up because she's nice. <laughs> There's a car outside now, so it's gonna be really loud, so apologies about that. Right, so Gemini. This is great. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things are turning around for you, but it still may feel like a bit of a long journey. I feel like you're going to be quite determined to get through something. Again, I am going to say to you, be a little bit flexible. Don't be too fixated on getting justice, you know, turning things around for the better. I'm going to plod away until, you know, I've run out of feet or nails, you know, I'm wearing everything down. I feel like luck is on your side and you can still go and be in the flow of things. This Capricorn side, it could be somebody in your life that a situation is turning around with. I can I feel it's turning in your favour. It could be karmic, all right? Um, so that's one other way to look at it. But I also see this Capricorn as... Um, a sign of a long journey that is successful but can sometimes be slow and arduous okay because goats continue to go climb up the mountain and they don't stop until they get there but I feel like you could be very near the end but if you're sort of in the middle and you're sort of scraping at the mud and things really aren't working, do take some rest. You know, stop and have a look at the, you know, if someone rings you up this week and says, hey, do you want to go out and do, well, again, we can't really be hugely social, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, or do you want to do a Zoom party or something like that? Don't think that you've got to keep going, you know, because that's your life now. And if you don't keep going, the money's not coming in and nothing's, you know, give yourself a break too, because actually that will ease the ride. And I do think that you've got, you've got a lot of spirit around you this week that's going to help you um and also this is another another thing for this is don't feel like you've got to carry the burden because i'm seeing some people with these great big bags on their backs with like boulders and they're like i've got to keep going if no one else is going to do it i'm going to do it you know don't be the martyr let someone help you because i feel like someone younger around or somebody that would like to help or maybe they haven't said anything but they're looking at you so be open to that and this is showing us look at the details. The heart detective is saying, look further into a situation. Again, you know, don't just think that you're right and someone's wrong and, you know, it's black and white. I think something around you this week is going to have a little bit more colour to it. There could be someone in your life that is maybe saying one thing and meaning another. 
actions speak louder than words that's all I'm going to say um, don't write something off I feel like you could like be so focused on what you're doing and what you planned again a little bit like Taurus I suppose that you don't want to see um, and they're saying is lift the layers and if this is about yourself because the retrograde time is about looking deeper at yourself then do lift the layers go deeper and see what comes about and what's there okay so cancer right we've got new beginnings for you new start and i've got a sense of family and harmony and togetherness there's a feeling of like i just i just feel like this like they they're joyous you know they're going yes at last a new beginning they finally made it and this feels like a very optimistic energy cancers aren't going to be affected the most this this um lunar eclipse they will be more so in the solar eclipse because we're going into the cancer season but this this week, I feel that, you know, the, the stress is slightly off you. If you're a Pisces, it's another story, but uh, we'll talk about them later. But this is new beginnings, new starts. Um, I feel like, I don't know, this just feels like a whole new cycle to me. You know, the fact there's the egg and there's the sun and they look like they're looking up at the sun and they're together. And there's just a real sense of connectivity and people working together as a team. And you're not feeling alone. You know, it's like a new era coming in for you this week. Um, and this is a bit of a strange one. We've got the heart victim. I feel this is a, a message really is don't allow yourself to be the victim. Reach out because there's people there that want to help you. And I am getting sort of words like the Samaritans, you know, self-help groups, that type of thing. If you are on your own, I mean, especially during this time, you know, don't think that you, you know, you're troubling people. Because I know there's some people that watch and they think that they're putting people out. You know, I have it when I, when people have more than one reading in a month, you know, it's like, oh, do you mind? Is this enough? And it's like, well, I'm here to help you. You know, I will do and guide you in any way that I can. Um, but, you know, never feel that you're burdening me. Because if, if you were, I'd tell you, you know, I'd say I'm unable to do it because I'm too tired, which happens a lot. But this is showing that the, you know, we are, you, you mustn't, you know, you may have been the victim for a long time. Maybe you've really been struggling with something. You have been really alone. But they're also saying is don't be, you know, don't feel like you're the one losing out because actually I feel like this week everything is starting again and you've got a second chance. Now, Mercury retrograde does bring second chances, guys, as well. So, um, you know, you could find that you reunite with someone this week. I feel like someone's coming home after a long journey. It's a male, you know, male energies, you know, they're sort of you thought they were never going to make it and suddenly they appear on your doorstep. So this is a lovely, warm feeling here. And you may have felt really lost for a while. So I'm sending love and healing to all those people. But this is definitely a positive week for you if you can connect with that positivity. Remember, we have a choice. You know, I can say, oh, this is a positive week. And then everyone will go, oh, no, I'm having a really bad time. Well, you know, it's up to you to connect with you know something positive if you are really down and you just don't know why I was my advice is actually is just sit with the emotion and it's not comfortable but sometimes you just need to release it as well don't oh you know don't dwell on it but just accept it's happening you know so Leo abundant week for you Ooh, dollar signs that's what we want to see okay and there's a sense of control i feel like anything that you have been dealing with contracts or issues law legal stuff you are going to come out on top that's what i'm being told for somebody really really important that there is um it feels like you're commanding what the deal is going to be i feel that you need to take the command um be assertive if something isn't right in a contract make sure it is right put it right i feel like you could come out with the profit definitely if there's any investments you put in around six months ago i'm seeing something coming in as well also a windfall of some kind for some of you it feels like a very abundant week oh and i feel if you take chart um advantage of your like take control of your finances, things are going to work out really well for you as well. The only thing I am going to say, because we do have the control card, which I've dropped on the floor, and I'll just um, here is like the rose coloured glasses are coming off this week. It's somebody may have been wheeling and dealing. Maybe someone's been taking more than they should. Maybe they've, you know, they've set out a contract and it just 
isn't really fair and you're realizing they're saying is you are going to see clearly that something will be highlighted this week around the relationships around with you who has been greedy who isn't um, maybe this is to do with a relationship maybe you've been going for a divorce as well um, and you know you're going to come out on top I feel like maybe for anyone that's going through a divorce or legal situation that way they've you've been too nice you, you've been like and I don't think that everyone should battle but I think that maybe you've been giving away too much when you're both in the relationship, you know, just because somebody's got the kids doesn't mean they get everything. You know, if you've been working 24 seven to keep the kids, you know, th there has to be some sort of middle ground. And I'm not going to get into divorce arguments here, but um, all I'm saying is that be aware that somebody could be pulling the wool over your eyes or maybe you've been seeing it differently than it is. I think you're really going to find out the reality and also understand your worth. And that could be the thing that gives you the control. Suddenly you value yourself enough and suddenly you're in the, the, the driving seat. You know, it's all it takes. I want some water, but I think I've left it in the other room. I might have to leave in a minute and come back. Um, right. Virgo. Watch if anybody is playing you for a fool this week. I feel like somebody might be pushing your buttons. I'm getting irritating people just constantly push, 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 push. Um, definitely towards the end of the week, um, you could feel like, and it's funny because I'm looking at a snake and it's almost like it's wrapping around your neck, you know, it's like, oh, I just want to get rid of it. I feel like you want to get rid of a restriction um, and that's typical of this, please release me. It's like, I now know what's not good for me, let me go. And this is the rose colored glasses in these cards, you know, this is you realizing who is the snake in the ointment, who is the one that's been pushing your buttons, who's been treating you badly. Hmm. Who hasn't been playing fairly? Um, I just get a sense you've got to watch temptation as well. OK, because you might feel that you want to, you know, go and drown your sorrows in the bottle or, you know, whatever, or go and party or be reckless again. You know, this is, again, the full moon energy, not because you're Virgos. Um, it's not really your type of thing. You know, I've, you're more grounded than that. But I feel like you might. It's like this realisation I'm getting this real sense of like, oh, my God, you've been playing me the whole time. I just want this out. You know, I just don't want this anymore. And I can see people just saying, I will not be suckered in to this anymore. So watch somebody, you know, if someone's overly nice to you or or maybe an ex comes back and starts knocking the door and starts bringing you little gifts. You know, just watch that. Keep yourself grounded. You're an earth sign, for goodness sake. You know, um, you have, um, you, you, you can be more grounded than anybody. You have the ability to, to connect with the earth. So get outside and stand in the earth if you're feeling wound up. And this card says it all. You know, this is about holding on to past energy anger so this could be somebody coming back who's done you wrong and you realize you know just by seeing them you realize how bad that actually was let go of the anger if you can now release it in some way again please release me card is um very much so you know release me but in a good way you know allow me to be free that's what i'm getting free yourself from the anger free yourself from the pain by because you're the one holding on to it right now that's what i'm getting told especially within a relationship find a way to move forwards because you can avoid and you can cope and you can just deal with it and say yeah i'm okay with it all everything's fine you know i'm just you know i know this person i've been with them forever but at the same time you're just still holding on to anger and it, it's not really i feel like there's some things that you may want to say but you don't have to spurt them out either you know write a letter <laughs> write it down in a letter but there's definitely going to be some revelations that could cause you know this anger to disrupt so ooh, stay away from virgos everybody right libra new beginnings for you strong new beginnings okay i feel this support around you this week and this is really lovely because this is showing an open heart now i think actually libras are going to be quite affected by this moon but i feel this could be a positive thing for you this week this is an opportunity to start again I feel like if somebody comes back into your life um, who hasn't been there for a while or you start a new business with somebody, because I do, I am getting that energies from the past. I think this is to do with retrograde, you know, in general, a lot of past comes back, is that you're more open for business. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're more ready, you're stronger, you're more knowledgeable, things are much better. And this clown knows is saying, you know, have fun, you know, see things as from the eyes of a child, if you can, that, you know, allow yourself to 
be cleansed of everything and just get back to void where you haven't had any experiences and you're seeing things with brand new eyes because I feel like everything is better than it was I feel like situations are stronger I feel like you've got more patience I feel that you are more of a leader in many ways um and I just sense you're ready so there's new you know it could be someone coming back from the start that wants to start again from the past that wants to start again it could be you starting um, a new business I don't think launching a new business is the best option right now unless you've been doing it for the last you know month or so that's a bit different it's something you're already working on that if you know it's a new idea then just work with it you know get going with it get active um do your research but you know be adaptable and remain flexible because again things can change after retrogrades but i do feel this support around you if somebody if you're looking for help or advice i feel like you're going to get it this week i think there's people ready they're like all waiting in the wings with all this wise wisdom, you know, and, and don't think that they're not, they're going to turn their backs. Because I think in some respect, people have, or they haven't listened to you, and now they're going to start. So, Scorpio. <gasps> Super Saturday. <laughs> okay, wake up, cool. Da, da, da. So you could, um, if you're Scorpio, suddenly have a massive realisation this week. Um, maybe you fall in love with someone, you realise you've been in love with someone the whole time. Maybe you feel like you don't love them anymore. Uh, maybe you've realised what you've been doing wrong and actually, oh my God, I've been doing this for the whole time and it hasn't really worked out. This is stuff that, you, this is obviously affairs of the heart. So it's going to be something, it could be about, more likely to be about some somebody or something that you love. So it could be a job that you re were really, you thought was great. It was your passion. And then you suddenly wake up and go, oh my God, I didn't realise that. The, a wake up call is like, is a realisation. It's like, oh, I'm awake. Oh my God, what have I been doing this whole time? I don't feel it's negative at all. Watch the temptation though, because Scorpios are quite intense. And, you know, I know, I know. And it could be, be very tempted to go a little bit further. I'm getting the number five around Scorpios this week. Um, and I do think that everything is going really, really well for Scorpios at the moment. And you do need to keep grounded though. So don't go mental, all right? Um, this is showing a lot of expansion. Um, it could mean that, you know, you take off something really takes off and you didn't realise how great it was, you know, and you think, oh my God, it's just like expanding. I've never seen it before. But just get watch the apples of temptation in the way that people could want to suddenly get on board with you. They want to be part of your life because you have got all that wonderful magnetic energy right now. Um, it could be someone comes back from the past, from overseas, connects with you. Um as this can be like overseas situations or long distance, um, I would really watch that. I think that you've already learned and, and you know, again, this could be the wake up. Oh, my God, someone knocks on the door and wakes you up literally. And you go, I can't believe that person's back in my life. I, I never thought I would ever see them again. Um, so expect something very fateful. Um, but look to expand, look to broaden your horizons this week. Look further, rise above things more than anything. Scorpios, again, are, are not going to be the biggest ones affected by this um, eclipse. But nevertheless, being water signs, I feel that we do connect with the moon a lot. And, um, yeah, I, I just feel like this is going to be a real week of change of some kind. Something is going to alert you, wake you up to move forwards even or to stop something. Okay, and that could be Saturn jumping in. Again, lots of psychic energy around this week. Sagittarius. Let go of the anger as well. There's a lot of anger there, okay? Well, this is a Sagittarius um, lunar eclipse, okay? <gasps> so watch that. You've got the key, guys. You can unlock the anger or you can hold on to it. But I don't think shouting and screaming is going to help either. You do have luck on your side, okay? It's showing there are there is luck. But this air sign is showing to rise above it, all right? Sagittarius is fire, okay? So, you know... You can be really playful and excitable, but just like kids, you know, kids can then lose control and get reckless and get angry and stamp their feet. And I feel like you could be feeling like this this week. But the advice is to rise above it. I feel like I just looking at this and I just want to breathe. I just want to go. <sighs> so before you release it, unlock it and let it out like a slow balloon, you know, if you can. And channel it into something really exciting and lucky because anger is emotion it's like passion you know it's, it's the same feeling really um 
and it, same amount of energy. So can you imagine if you put all that into something you're really passionate about? I think that the luck would be on your side. But you need to let go of it. You need to find a way to not be holding on to it because I think it could come out this week, all right? And this is really saying, you know, be the air sign, not the fire sign, you know, float about a bit. If you can like, I mean, I think that Sagittarians are gonna really do well from meditation this week, really, really well. If you can, you know, really get yourself detoxed, you know, and give me a call if you need some help. <laughs> Um, Capricorn okay this is interesting because I've got the Pisces sign for you and I, this could be a Pisces in your life that has got um, some sort of relevance at the moment and I've got the number 22 which is showing a really powerful energy so somebody could come in who is a Pisces who is a very powerful energy I am getting quite a psychic individual intuitive as well um, and a connection that could be very very intuitive I really believe that although you are a Capricorn and you prefer the earth. I think you would do well to be near water this week at some point and to do some cleansing. Um, the other side of this is it may not be a person, but it may be that you are connecting more with your psychic side. And I feel if you do take the time to meditate um, and you do you know connect with that higher self and again spend some time in water if you can you know um have lots of showers and things like that you are going to find that you know things will become more grounded i mean twos are quite two and two is four so that's a very grounded number but it's also very very powerful and um i feel like you could be very very heightened by your intuition this week you might also be um around young people um something new could begin this week um, because pisces to me is, is a very young energy it's a very playful energy and also very abundant you know um, and i just think that if you are sort of in a very floaty place you could be very inspirational and come up with some great abundant ideas um this is showing that you are healing from something but you need to allow yourself to heal so again you know find your inner strength work with your the power help it work for you rather than against you and water sea is healing you know it's very very healing but i think it's time to really really face something this week and i think something is going to come about and although he's like going oh, oh he's actually getting better he's coming through the other side so any of you that are dealing with the pisces maybe you know maybe something is going to turn around it's going to be it's going to get better you know it's going to start healing the rifts are actually going to get better rather than worse so moving on to Aquarius. OK, so we've got the healing sign here as well um, for you. And I feel like this is going to be a very, very positive week for healing. But I'm also feeling, again, connection with spirit. If you are a healer, I think you're going to have some amazing connections this week with clients, customers, um, and you may be doing distant healing, but at the same time, we're getting a lot of coloured rays, healing rays coming through um, and sounds, audio stuff as well and, and voices coming through for some of you. Um, and if you are interested in that, then really connect with it. But I do feel like you need to stay all on the positives and do maybe retreat a little bit this week rather than being within too much of a social atmosphere because I've got here the draining heart vampire there could be somebody around you who has been draining your energy and i feel like you could be very open this week and quite raw and like you know even sometimes when you're really positive and optimistic when you're really like like that you're really open you're really vulnerable you're like a child so you can be very very open to these types of energies and because people are quite restless and anxious and everything at the moment they could be latching on to you. So just be aware of that, okay? It's really important that you just watch somebody draining your energy. You might find that somebody you live with is doing exactly the same. So take some time to heal. Do some daily healing, you know? And even if you're not a healer, you can still just, just place your hands on your, you know, parts of your body and just ask, for the the angelic energy the life force to work through you it will work trust me okay it all starts from a belief and a thought all right that's how it works it's trust that it's happening we all have magic within us guys so the last sign is pisces so you are going to be affected by this this moon and i do see a lot of piscean energy getting quite agitated but it is like the child it's like i want to wriggle out i want to get out of the net i have to do this and it's like this feeling of like almost urgency that i'm picking up 
don't push too hard okay i feel like if you push too hard you're going to break the net but you're going to end up on the land and not in the water okay some things you're seeing are not real it's like you you may feel like you're in a bit of a dream this week and you're just like walking around in circles and walking into walls and, and you're meeting all your past halfway and that kind of things it's like a waking and sleeping dream just trust me what is happening is not everything you're not getting the whole information don't overexert yourself trying to make something better if somebody's being a little bit quiet right which could happen um and because of this venus thing you might be thinking why am i getting attention don't you love me anymore oh, you know and then you jump to conclusions oh they're having an affair what am i gonna do you know you turn something into this massive great big soap opera and it's not and and the saying is that you know often what you see it is not happening. And I've got here, look, heart revelation, which is actually always saying, yes, it is true. But for this situation, I feel it's not. Because this is the this is the genie in the bottle, you know. This is, the, it's not real. It, it's just all sort of, and I'm not saying that genies aren't real, okay. Some of you might believe that they are, but this to me is like the moon. In a way, it's a confusion. It's like a sense of illusion, you know, making, and, and you sort of believing something. Now, Let's look at this another way, okay? Okay, so because these are psychic readings, you know, they can come out in different ways. And for some of you, it might be that you do, um, you, you're putting too much into something that's not real, okay? And this would be if you've just started a relationship that you think is wonderful and you started during Venus retrograde and everything's fine and everything's hunky-dory and it's the best thing since slow spread and you realise this person's talking to eight other people online and you start really trying hard to be number one and they're saying, don't bother, don't bother because what you're doing isn't necessary, all right? But again, it might be that they're not really doing that. You know, everything just feels like a big dream for Pisces this week, okay? So just tread carefully, keep your feet on the ground, um, you know, work with your own energies and do your best not to look at what else is, or, you know, start judging everything before it's happening and if you you are with somebody and you're close to somebody talk to them you know and do it in a calm way talk talk to them in the language that they understand all right create something you know and i would seriously try and take the alcohol out of it this week if you are feeling a bit wound up you back are you are you finished yeah i know you haven't agreed yet um you know if you really are you know in a sort of a wobbly relationship or a situation where you've been feeling wound up all week about something, don't go and fuel yourself with alcohol or sugar because I can guarantee it is just going to kick off. And we, you don't need it because you may start saying things you don't mean and, you know, where you could actually sort something. This is about strengthening relationships, not actually weakening them even more. But it will highlight the cracks. So be ready this week, guys. It's an important one. And get down to the beach if you can or you know be near some water or have a lovely salt bath at home and do some affirmations and some meditation on friday um or in the build up to it and like i say feed your body with goodness and you'll feel so much more cleansed and so much happier about things were you bored though is that why you were yawning okay right so thank you guys for tuning in today um and yeah i'm sorry this wasn't live but i just lost my stream and i think it's because it's a sunday and i need to do it early in the morning but i might do psyching in pajamas all week you never know uh, but do take care of yourself stay safe and you know remember that everything that you do has um, a reaction and effect on the world you know we it's just a knock-on effect so love light and blessings to you if you'd like a private reading just hop on down to the website and i will speak to you soon bye for now